the disease. And, and we may have made it worse. Bill, Bill uh, and Whitney Young, they might have been right. I don't know. But I've never heard any, uh, th literally thousands of black, people, black, black Americans have come to me, and I've never heard ordinary television watchers. And they all seem to have loved the show. The fact is, we presented both sides. I mean, it, if, it, it would be a junkie shooting up in front of the American public if, if his bigotry and his racism were not called. You know, we're not uh, uh, refuted, we're not attacked by my character, by the liberals' character. Uh, Norman Lear had always talked about how one of his favorite plays uh, was Major Barber by George Bernard Shaw. And we all know uh, Shaw to have been a liberal, and yet he presented a play in which both the hawk and dove points of view were expressed uh, articul articulately and, and equally. So that you left the theater wondering, well, who's right? You know, is it... Uh, uh, guns or butter. I mean, who's right? And that's what Norman wanted to do. He wanted to have a forum that presented both sides of the issues and let the audience uh, decide for themselves and let them have a, uh, a grist for conversation. And that's what it did. All in the family was an equal opportunity offender. Archie Bunker may not have cared for his neighbor, George Jefferson, for example, but George wasn't perfect either. He was human, too. When we come back, we'll hear from the Jeffersons, including actor Sherman Hemsley, in a moment. If I don't get my money right now, you're going to find yourself on top of the ten most sorry honky list. <laughs> Would you care to step outside? I'm ready. Good. Then step outside. I'm going to bed. So how long had All in the Family been on the air before they introduced the George Jefferson character? Three years. So at that point, it's already a runaway hit. Yeah. And now they're looking to add new yeah. elements, but it's already pretty close ready. to an American institution. People are quoting Archie Bunker in the oh, street. Yeah, it was big, you know. In fact, when he said All in the Family, I said, whoa. And then uh, we caught, um, Michael Evans was the one. Michael Evans was the first on the show. He was Lionel, right? Lionel. And then Isabel Sanford came in as the, as the mother. And then they just, and then had um, Mel Stewart, who played uh, the brother, George's brother. I forget what the name it was. The he it was. But anyway, oh, Henry. And he lived in the house with uh, Lionel and Louise. And then they were just, they just talked about my character. Well, George, he won't come in, he won't come out, he won't, he won't associate. And, but see, this is something I really didn't realize that all this was going on when, when I came in. If I had known that, I'd have been scared, worse than I was. But I figured, hey, and I went down there, hungry as I was, and auditioned, and I had to audition with Carol, which shocked me. I figured I'd go on and read it to, you know, somebody, the secretary or the you know, But O'Connor himself was right there. And he picked me and he said, hey, we just clicked right away. Yeah. Did you find some reaction from black viewers who didn't want you to portray this character this way? He's too much of a bumbler. He's too vain. It's not a good representation. <clears throat> well, I never had any direct confrontations, but I, you know, I heard people say, well, uh, you know, in fact, there's mostly people in the business who would say, well, that's not a good representation of us. But my reaction was, hey, that's one family out of millions of every, and everybody. It's not represents a whole race of people just because one people, one person, is a certain way, you know. Yeah, any, any more than Dagwood Bumstead yeah. represents all, all white guys who have a family and go off to their job and get kicked in the exactly. rear end by Mr. Dithers. Yeah. But the problem was, especially then in television, there were so few roles for blacks mm -hmm. on a recurring basis that both blacks and whites could make the illogical assumption that this was supposed to represent something other than these people for this half hour. Yeah, and it's not that way at all. It's just a story. Somebody thinks of this idea, comes up with these characters, and they write it down. Like, oh, this is comes. And look at the Partridge family. I mean. That was, I mean, there was not a, a stain in that whole show, like a dirt spot or anything. It was just pure, pure, pure. And it's, I'm sure nobody's quite like that. The Jeffersons may have started out as the Bunkers' next-door neighbors in Queens, but after a while, they moved on up to the east side and a series of their own. It was a hit, too. Wait, what's taking you so long? How long does it take to put on makeup? You only got one face. <laughs> <laughs> how the Jeffersons came about. It was a spin-off from mm -hmm. All in the Family, right? And you didn't you didn't want to leave All in the Family and do no, your own I show. Didn't. You said, I know a good thing when I see it, right? I wanted to be with the stay with the sure thing. Yeah. I didn't know what the Jeffersons would do. But mm -hmm. since they said, well, we have to get uh, Louise Jefferson for the Jeffersons and we have to cancel out 
the Jeffersons in All in the Family. Well, that helped me make up my mind. <laughs> Suddenly you saw the light. <laughs> Do you all see yourself as, as trailblazers in terms of, of showing a black family in a sitcom on national television? Because after all, Bill Cosby gets a lot of the credit for that. Uh, yes, he does. And you don't like that. <laughs> no, they never mention the Jeffersons. Very seldom do they mention the Jeffersons or That's give true. us any trouble, any uh, credit. 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 Why, why is that, say, you think? A lot of people say there's a, like, um, was a stereotype, show was stereotypical. I don't know why, like we only represent one family. But, you know, some people got hang-ups about things like that for some reason. Because I was a little louder than most people on television, you know? Right. And I guess a lot of people get offended to the bourgeois people, you know? So. <laughs> well, you were very loud and yeah. brash. Yeah. And do you but think... But coming from love, though, see? That's the whole key. That's so what was Archie going. Bunker. And, yeah. And yeah. But you got to love though. something. If you love something, people can find it. That's right. They didn't it. stop it all in the family. No. Well, you know, he loved Edith. Like I said, love is the key. Archie did love Edith, but that wasn't all. It turned out he loved his meathead son-in-law, too, even if he couldn't quite say it. That and more in a moment. You've been just like a son to me. You never did nothing I ever told you to do. <laughs> Most of the show was shot in the house. Yes. But a subtle and important difference, I thought, whenever you saw him outside the house, he didn't move with the same sense of certainty in his house he he had a world that he felt he could he could control and he would he'd make a point and he'd plop down in that chair at the end of his point with a smug look on his face like no one you could bring Lincoln or Douglas in and they couldn't top him in a debate he was done he was finished couldn't say it any better plop like that but when he was outside in the world that really had him overmatched then he didn't move with quite the same power exactly exactly that's true we did get out occasionally, and that's exactly the way he behaved. A little bit he was deferential when he was outside, but he was king in his own place, which is all that uh, a character, you know. And as the years went by, I found that Archie uh, Bunker was not a creature of a certain level in America or a certain class at all. He existed on all levels and among all classes of uh, people in this country. Did you find him in some measure? sympathetic yes yeah, sure uh, that yeah because as far as his family was concerned his heart was always in the right place he he believed in going out there and he was a working stiff and he brought home the bacon and he he supported them and he loved them and he even loved the son-in-law he never admitted but he did and uh, admired him too and at the end when they wrote them out of the script because they had other things to do and they yes. had them moving out west. There was a touching scene where it he tried to tell yes. them. That's right, it was. You've been like a father to me. Why? Well, oh, uh, you've been just like a son to me. You never did nothing I ever told you to do. <laughs> hey, Archer, we want you and Ma to come visit us out there. Oh, uh, well, maybe a mother-in-law can do that, but, you know. Well, I, I think you'd like it out there. Nah, nah, I don't think so. Sure, fresh, fresh juice every morning? Well, you know me, I always take the candy. <laughs> Lots of sunshine? Yeah, what I boy needs? Pacific Ocean? Yeah, well, I, I don't like a, an ocean where the sun goes down. I like an ocean where the sun comes up. <laughs> The one where we went, where we where we went away, was the last show we ever did, and that was, uh, you know, saying goodbye at the door. There was a very emotional scene, and you know, a lot of the series that have gone a long time have expressed similar kinds of feelings when the show's over. I mean, uh, when you're saying goodbye to somebody, uh, it's not just saying goodbye to the character, it's one character than the other, but it's two human beings that have spent eight years with each other, more time with each other than with their own families. Uh, saying goodbye to each other, and it was very emotional, very emotional. What was it like in the studio, not just for the actors, but for the audience? Did they sense they were in on something yes. in its own small way, yes. historic? Yes, yes, everybody, everybody sensed that they were in on something, because uh, it, to me, was one of the most important shows to ever, to, ever to be put on television, if not the most important, and everybody was aware of, of how strong that moment was. No, that was a great scene. That was a great scene. We did a special not too long ago. And, and closed with, not, it was a nine-minute scene. 
and we closed the special with those nine minutes.